don't be no sad. That vest ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, bro. Don't even get down for the bread. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. So yesterday when I did the video, y'all folks was laughing at me, but my back is really killing me. Like I really can't. I can't walk, can't sit down and get up too fast. It's over with, bro. I'm really old. And then when he called, when the, the young boy called me an OG on the basketball court, like, the thing that bothered me is, like, I felt expired. Like, you know what I'm saying? I felt like 2% milk. It's one of them situations where it was like, my bad, OG. I'm going to take it easy on you. But anyway, today, man, I want to ask y'all a question, right? If your girl cheated on you and had a baby, dude that she cheated on you with would you take her back would it be possible for you to forgive her and take her back now me personally <laughs> no <laughs> it's over with you're not even a simp if you do that you're an alien like i want you to really think about it right honestly even if like she didn't cheat on me and we just broke up and she ended up having a baby with somebody else i can't take her back you shouldn't take her back neither Cause let's say, all right, y'all get back together. The kids start growing up. Y'all start building a life together. It's gonna be days when you're gonna be in the kitchen or you're gonna be in the living room and that little bastard is gonna be eating the cereal. And you're gonna be looking at him and you're gonna be imagining his father used to be digging the inside of your girl's guts. When you was at work, when you was playing basketball, he was in there bone balls deep. Like you just gonna, that's the type of flashbacks you're gonna have. Like why put, why put yourself through that? Ain't no point in putting yourself through that, bro. Before this story time continues, I want you to make sure you leave a comment. If you enjoy the story, leave a comment. Leave a like because it helps the channel. It it definitely helps the channel. All right. Like I know, I know sometimes you just wanna you. But she's she's the one, man, bro. If she was the one, bro. <laughs> first off, it's a difference. Now, if you was in a relationship, right, and you was doing foul stuff throughout the relationship. And then your shorty left you and you, you know, you, you feel as though I right, I was wrong and you know she was really holding me down. And you get her back. That's okay. Unless she have a baby. Because if she have a baby, then ain't no getting her back. It's over with. I'm not gonna call no names, but somebody asked me that question. And I was just I was looking at him like, yo, you you simp ass mother, you a simp. The hell? And then I know it's a few of y'all out there like, boy, if my girl cheat on me, boy, I'ma send her to the afterlife. Her and that could get it. I ain't even that spiritual, but let me tell you something, bro. You gonna send your girl and she can shoot off to the afterlife together? So they gonna be having ghost sex while your ass locked up. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, bro. I'm just throwing it out there, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't no point, bro. If she did what she did, then let her be. You feel me? Get another one. And then dudes be so, yo, dudes be so foul. Let me tell y'all how foul dudes be, right? Because y'all know, y'all know y'all be foul. You know what I'm saying? Dudes be freaking having like five joints, bro. Been cheating from day one in a relationship. As soon as they look in their girl phone and see a, a dude number that they don't know, be like, yo, who this? Yo, you, you slut, yo. Nah, yo. You... You out here trying to play me? Niggas be so extra, man. Remember, bro, what goes around comes around. Funny, karma is undefeated, son. And some of us still waiting for karma to catch up to us. We biting our mother. Biting your nails. Because you done did some goofy stuff in the past and you waiting for karma to... What's up, player? I'm here to collect. You waiting for karma to come collect. For some of y'all, if you ain't never done it yet, don't do it. If you young and you made it this far in the video, I'm going to say this, bro. Live your life before you try to get in any type of committed relationship. Because what'll happen is, it's a lot of people who, like, they get in relationships when they mad young. And then, like, as they get older, they start feeling as though they missing out on something. And that's when cheating starts. Like, folks that be getting married at, like, freaking 20 and 21, bro, I don't be impressed, son. That that don't impress me. Like, you get married when you mad young, that don't impress me because I'm older. For me, I'm in my 30s. I ain't, I ain't old, old, but, you know, I'm up there. You feel me? Case in point, that's why my back feeling the way it's feeling. But I know where I was at 
when I was 21. Like, I know where my mindset was at when I was 21. Now, everybody's mindset ain't the same. But at the same time, at 21, 22, you haven't experienced enough things in life yet to say that you want to be in a committed-ass relationship. Like, it's not... It's, that's not how the world works, bro. You got to experience... You feel me? Experience is the best teacher. And as you get older... Your experience start, like, forming and changing your mindset on certain things. Relationship-wise. Even you as a person. Because I promise you. I promise you, bro. I want it to be... The modeled... Hood, hood, you feel me? I promise you, bro. I want to be a scammer. I want to be the biggest weed seller. I want to do all that, bro. I got older. I'm like, yo, you know what, man? I get locked up. What the hell, I'm gonna do in jail, bro. I'm short as hell, so when I get in jail, I'm gonna have to do something crazy so people will leave me alone. And then on top of that, once I do something crazy, it's like, they're going to add a whole bunch of time. And the longer you stay in there, you're not going to be yourself anymore. Like, I'm just talking because I, I know people that got locked up before they got locked up and after when they came out. And they're just not the same. They're not the same people anymore. And they had to explain to me certain things that happened in there. So all I'm going to say is, <clears throat> relationship-wise and, and life-wise, bro. Just don't be that person, son. Don't be that person, man. Experience is the best teacher. Don't um don't force yourself in no type of situation. Just because her poom poom good don't mean you have to lock it up. Alright? Don't mean you have to lock it up, bro. You might, you might. Her poom poom might be good when y'all younger. But as she get older, she turn into a witch. Then you stuck. I know dudes that's like 25 right now playing paying alimony, bro. How you 25 paying alimony? Y'all know what alimony is? Alimony is when you giving your wife like your check. You gotta take care of her for the rest of her life. Cause you had made that commitment because you thought you was in love. Oh young dumbass motherfucker. Alright, I'm done, man. I'm just ran. Squad! Don't be no set. That vest ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real don't even get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Squad! Who's, who's smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.